Hello to my Western viewers, and so are you up to my Thai viewers. I'm Ian Yarwood, and I'm bringing you this video from the safety of Perth, Western Australia. Welcome back to my small series of videos that examine errors that journalists made while covering the 2014 murders of the British backpackers Hannah Witheridge and David Miller on the Thai island of Koh Tao. Most people following these events would be aware that Wai Pyo, pictured top right, and Zor Lin, bottom right, were convicted of their murders on the strength of some highly dubious DNA evidence produced by an unaccredited Thai police laboratory. It's widely accepted that the Thai police investigation was botched at best, and at worst it was simply a means to frame two powerless foreign scapegoats and protect some well-connected criminals on the island, as well as protect the lucrative tourist trade. In such a corrupt environment, the public relies heavily upon robust journalism if they are ever going to learn the truth. Unfortunately, the news service or the news media in Thailand is anything but robust, thanks largely to exceptionally harsh criminal defamation laws, including the Draconian Computer Crimes Act. Having mentioned constraints on the media within Thailand, I now present the fourth error in this series. To be precise, this error is actually an omission. This is part of an article that I wrote in June of 2017, and it appears in white and black and red for the reason that it refers to the condition of Hannah's body and for fairly obvious reasons I don't want to present Hannah's battered body on the internet. But it reads as follows. Various pictures of Hannah's body also appeared on the internet. Bright red blood can be seen on her face. In contrast, in contrast there are also some dark stains on her face and upper body that do not seem consistent with blood, but possibly consistent with residue from fireworks or the equipment of one of the Thai beach fire dancers. I am unaware of any explanation the police provided for the dark stains or how the defendants were supposed to have left such stains. And I wrote that paragraph uh, in an article that was published on Death Penalty News, on, and it was published on the 27th of June, 2017. I shall put a link to that article at the bottom of this video. This particular error is actually a variation on error number two in this series, where I mentioned that the media really, with some a few exceptions, the media uh, did not make any mention of the cut marks that were left on David's face and body, which were consistent with the cut marks that would be left by a punch knife or a blade of some sort, rather than by a big clumsy hoe. One thing which prompted me to make a little video about that paragraph is an article that was produced by the freelance journalist Andrew Drummond and I'll just read a couple of paragraphs from that article but that appeared just a few months ago. This is one of his pictures uh, taken outside the Leo bar and the paragraphs read as follow. The latest allegations come from the British victim of an assault by the barman followed by a second assault, a pack attack outside the bar by fire dancers employed by the Leo Bar to entertain tourists. The charges against the bar's owner and five Myanmar fire dancers are due to be heard in court next month, he said. And that was published by Andrew Drummond on the 25th of August, 2018. That's actually quite an interesting article. It's a shame that no one has followed up uh, what Andrew Drummond has written. But I'll also place a link to that article under this video. However, the main thing I just wanted to point out is that there are some dark stains on Hannah's body. 
and the police appear to have failed to explain how those black stains were left there and how on earth Zorlin and YPO left those black stains. And that comes in addition to their failure to explain to the court or to anyone else how Zorlin and YPO left cut marks on uh, the bodies of the two British victims. Well, I hope you found this informative. I'm sorry if it's a bit gruesome, but I hope you found it informative. And if you thought so, uh, could you please press like and share this video with your friends and online friends on social media. Thank you very much and please stay safe.